Good morning guys, happy Monday and welcome back to the vlog. I have been doing my normal Monday morning errands today and it's now lunchtime. So I thought I would start vlogging, it's Monday. Um, I'm just in my dressing room slash nursery, well nursery to be, which, oh it's gone very dark, <laughs> which you will see more of in um, my kind of next pregnancy update so yeah i have just had a delivery really kindly gifted let me just show you these oh if you follow me on instagram then you will know i am oh hello what have you got in your mouth oh they have to get involved leave me be for a minute leave me be <laughs> um yeah if you follow me on instagram then you know i will oh they're just relentless to stay there then um you sorry i keep looking at i've got my canon g7x mark ii loving it so far I haven't actually edited any edited any footage off it but i'm just getting used to being able to see myself so if you see me looking up it's because that's where the view find view that's where the viewfinder is and obviously when i've been vlogging on my phone i turn it around and i can't see anything so i don't even know if i'm in frame so it's really handy because of my actual hello <laughs> My whole head is in frame for once, um, but I am just getting used to looking at the lens and not add to myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you follow me on Instagram, here, Sally underscore Faye, um, you may have seen a few stories talking about wanting to update our bedroom. I'm pregnant. This is going to be a space that I probably spend more and more time in over the next kind of coming months as I get bigger and want to rest more, need to rest more. Um, and also when the baby comes, it's gonna, I want it to feel like a really tranquil, calm, comfy, cozy space because yeah, it's gonna be chaos. <laughs> There's gonna be lots of getting up in the night and I wanna feel like the room feels the best it can do. So um, I'm looking for a new bed. Well, we are. I wanted, I thought we wanted a four poster the husband has broken the news to me recently that he doesn't really want one, thinks we'll get annoyed with it. And yeah, that's not an option now. Gutted, couldn't find a Super King um, iron bed black frame that I liked. Um, I did find one, which I'll put on screen from the original bed company, but I just didn't want the um, upholstered bit at the foot of the bed. Really fussy, really fussy, this is my problem. Um, the bed I'm in love with here is from Restoration Hardware, but getting it to the UK, well, the price alone, I just think is ridiculous. I wouldn't spend that much on a bed. Um, and getting it to the UK would just be absurd. So yeah, nowhere in the UK seems to make that bed, which seriously, guys, manufacturers, you should be just getting on that because it's so popular. <laughs> All I get messages are, if you find the bed in the UK, let us know. Uh, but I haven't, so I still haven't found a bed. And the problem is, when I find a bed that I do kind of like, I just think I'm going to have to redecorate the room, which I don't mind doing. I'm happy to, like, paint, changing the paint colour does not faze me at all. I'm not um, attached to paint colours. If, if, if I want to change a room, I'll change it. Um, probably would need to change the curtains though, which is a bit more costly. Things like that. So if we can get a bed that goes in here, it's quite grey in here. Again, something that I think I will probably change over the next year, just because I'm a bit bored of grey. Um, there just seems to be lots of grey in this room, which when we put the grey on the walls at first, made a massive difference in a really nice way. It made the room feel much more cosy because it was white before and it looked quite grubby. Um, but I'm just thinking maybe we should have gone for something that more more neutral than grey like more hello handsome um more not beige but that kind of that kind of a uh, color scheme but yeah probably because i've gone and painted the nursery in skimming stone uh, by farrow and ball and i just love it and it's gonna be so easy to dress and again it's probably a trend thing grey was everywhere for years and years and years um, and now maybe we're just on the back end of that and I'm kind of over it. There's a lot of grey in this house. Hey! They're, going, they're just in a funny mood this morning. We've been to the office, haven't we? And she... <laughs> can you see her? Just went, went crazy. 
You were pretty calm actually, weren't you? But she just loves seeing everyone. She's such a people dog, don't you? Such a people puppy. Um, so she had a great time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna, like I said, I've received a parcel. So I've been looking for a bed online, blah, 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 blah. blah. Um, I also want to update our bedding. So I've just been and bought a new duvet. We have a super king duvet. We still have a, we still have a king. Will you shush? Such an attention whore. <laughs> um, we still have a king size bed, but because I know we're going to, we really want a super king. We need a super king. We're both quite big people. Um, we have two dogs that come into the bed with us, not to sleep, but they, they come in for cuddles. And we'll have a child. And I just want a big family bed that everyone wants to pile on, on a Sunday morning. We put a film on this, you know, I'm just going off with my personality type here um, into romanticizing what this bed will bring to our life. But it needs to be Super King. So I've been and bought a Super King duvet. We needed a new one, I've gone for a 10.5 tog. I don't go any thicker because this room stays quite warm in the winter. Rude. Um, and at the moment, really rude. I um, get really hot in the middle of the night. So 10.5 tog for winter will be fine. And yeah, I'm gonna swap that over. And so what I'm finally getting to, I have a lump in my throat, after six and a half minutes, is that Dusk have very kindly sent me the Kensington collection. I'm looking at myself again, I'm really sorry. It's an 800 thread count in, um, in sateen, 100% Egyptian cotton. Oh my goodness. Has this gorgeous double black border. And I've got the duvet cover, which weighs a ton, <gasps> to go on the bed as well. So I'm going to put that on. I did have a discount code with them, but I think that's expired now. Um, that was just on Instagram for a few days. But yeah, they, they've always got some great deals on and I'm so excited to try out. I don't know where I'm looking then. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I will get better at this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put these on the bed anyway. And then I'll talk to you about my print shop and um, how I'm framing the prints that I'm selling to you guys. Just a few tips and also how to style them up. I have done a blog post. If you'd rather read that than watch it, that will be linked down below. Um, but otherwise, stay tuned for that. But I'm going to take these very dirty bed sheets. We tanned, we, <laughs> I'm giving it away that he has a little, a little tan every now and again. I tanned over the weekend, so they're looking pretty bad. Um, so yeah, they're looking a little bit orange. I think there's some coffee stains on there and there's definitely a couple of paw prints. Only problem, I love white bed sheets. I love them. I wouldn't have anything else really, um, but we have dogs. So I just have to accept that the bed sheets have to get changed once a week, sometimes more, but I don't mind that because I love having the dogs on the bed and they love the bed too. So yeah, I waffled on for nearly nine minutes. <laughs> Let's just get this bed looking perfection. I'm going to do the boring job of stripping the bed. Oh yeah, yeah. packaging them they feel so soft you are not allowed on these for at least 24 hours Well, first of all, the battery died. Then I had lunch, then I did work. I don't even know what time it is now. So it's been a while since I actually finished changing the bed. If you step foot on these clean bed sheets, you're in trouble. No treaties for a week. <laughs> um, yeah, I absolutely love them. Just first of all, look at, oh, just, let's just take a moment to appreciate how clean these are because they're not gonna stay like this for long. They feel beautiful. They're an Egyptian cotton, 800 thread count. 
um, and they're a sateen so they have this lovely kind of they feel like cotton but just like a little kind of silky coating on them they're really beautiful um, and I just love this kind of beautiful double piping of black just around the border obviously it's <laughs> it's a super king duvet on a king size bed so it's it's looking pretty don't you dare uh, so yeah it's a super king duvet on a king size bed for now uh, so it's very low so you can't really get the full effect of this gorgeous border around the edge of the duvet cover as well but yeah they are just beautiful i literally want to go to bed now i cannot wait oh to climb into bed later i really want to get a lovely big throw as well maybe a nice black one uh, just to go with this gorgeous black kind of oh it's like a little frame around it um and then i'm just going to look at back at beds i just don't know what color to get i'm thinking maybe like a I just don't know. Almost this kind of colour, because I think this looks really nice. I think this looks really nice with black and with white. So I think, I mean, it's not far off what we have. This is almost, it's meant to be grey, but it's almost a bit like lilac-y. It's also really dusty. Um, so yeah, it's a really odd colour. It's never been the colour that we expected. I think it was called Owl or something. Um, but yeah, it's a funny, it's a funny colour. I just think that looks... It's more kind of beigey stone. I love the texture of this as well, but maybe velvet. And then just some, some stud work would look really nice. But those are our beautiful bed sheets, very kindly gifted from Dusk. Um, I will link them down below. They've got 40% off at the moment, so that's amazing. So yeah, if you want to treat yourself to some, uh, to some bedding, I'm going to flip this round. I don't know what I look like, so I have eaten. And I probably have chili flakes. Chili flakes are the new thing for me. Everything has to have a good old dusting of chili flakes on. Um, but yeah, and I need to go and find a home for the old duvet. Put the, put the packaging away. Um, and I want to talk to you about my prints while the weather's nice. So maybe we'll do that. <laughs> How do I stop recording? <laughs> I will get used to this, I will get used to this, I will get used to this. Okay, so like I mentioned, I have done a blog post on this already, but I just thought I would feature it in a video for you. Um, I like to kind of style my prints, not necessarily on the wall. We have most of our prints kind of propped up around the house on our fireplace, on bedside tables, even on the floor. So this is how I like to kind of style our bedside tables with the prints that are now available from my shop woohoo yeah my shop is now live you can order these i will link them down below um they are g clay fine art prints so hopefully will this pick up the detail of the texture probably not can you see that kind of mottled effect on the paper it's a beautiful beautiful quality print the blacks come out really black and um yeah it's just really lovely fine art quality but anyway, you can read more about that on my website. So these are two of my prints. I think this is Skin 4 and this is Skin 1, the original skin. Um, this one is A4 and this one is A3. But what I personally prefer to do is to, if I have an A4 print, sorry, I'm in the shadow. I'm making a shadow on it. So if I have an A4 print, I will buy an A3 frame. Again, I will link the frames that I use down below. Um, I actually take out the plastic uh, kind of insert or the glass uh, because I hate reflections. That's just personal preference. I kind of photograph my prints. I also like to look at the artwork and not a reflection of myself. Um, it's hard to buy kind of affordable, non-reflective um, inserts. So if you are looking to get them framed professionally, then that is definitely an option. You can uh, request uh, kind of art glass i think it's called so you won't get a reflection um but yeah this is just how i like to uh to frame them the only thing with this once you take that protective layer away you do risk discoloration because they are fine art prints uv light can affect them and obviously dust and pollutants and things like that so 
if you want to photograph them, or if, if that's a kind of, if you've got an interior account on Instagram, pop the inserts out, take your picture and then put them back in uh, just to, to protect the artwork and stop it from uh, fading and it can go a funny colour. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so I've brought um, an A3 mount, which I said will be linked down below, and, oh, sorry, an A3 frame, and then a mount that fits an A3 frame for an A4 picture. And then this one is an A3 print with an A2 frame and an A2 mount for an A3 picture, if that makes sense. Again, I'll link it down below, so if you are stuck, stuck on kind of what to order, then you'll know. But that's how I frame my prints. Sometimes um, I won't bother mounting them. It depends kind of on just the feel of the il illustration. These ones, because they're kind of more traditional, I find that the mount just elevates them a bit, makes them look really kind of professionally finished, and I just really like that. I also like that it makes an A4 print look A3, which is always always nice to kind of enlarge it slightly but yeah you could just buy an a4 frame and it would fit it perfectly so that's another option buy the frame the same frame size as your print but yeah i'm just going to style these two prints up so i'm going to pop you on a side and just talk you through how i like to layer these up on our bedside tables which are here so for this one i always like to start with the prints they are the anchor of the kind of vignette if you like um so they set the tone the color palette so I'll pop the A2 first, and I'm going to layer two illustrations or two prints together. So you could have that on its own, it's big enough for the space, but personally I just really love having a couple of prints, especially if they're the same theme or kind of they, they complement each other, I just think that looks really nice. So those are my, that's my anchor points for this kind of area. And now I'm going to add, because it's quite a tall space, I'm going to add some height. So I've got my pampas grass, which is very kindly gifted from berries and grey. Um, there are five stems in here. Again, I will link it down below. Um, let's just scoop this over. And then just play around and see. You want to make sure you can see most of your print. And I quite like that against that. This vase was from um, a local independent called Wild Home. They're on Truva and they deliver, so I will link them down below as well. So I think this size may have sold out, um, but they have loads. I've got loads of these around the house, all different sizes. They've got some beautiful pieces, so yeah, check out Wild Home. They're just, they're just around the corner from me. Next, I like to go in. So we've got our anchor piece that's set in the kind of tone, which is monochrome and neutrals. I've got my pampas to add height, which kind of just draws the eye up. Now I'm going to go low and I'm going to add some texture and a bit of personality. And also there's nothing better than having some books next to your bed. If you, put, if you go to bed early, reach for a little book. Mine aren't novels, <laughs> they're picture books. So I've got the um, Eat, Drink, Nap from Soho House, mainly because I just love the colour. I just love the colour and the texture of the cover. So this is adding, again, another element of texture and, and kind of pulling in to this monochrome neutrals palette that I'm choosing. And then, of course, I have my own book, All Black Everything. I actually do keep this by my bed because if I'm sharing an Instagram post kind of late on in the evening or I'm planning Instagram posts or blog posts and I'm working from bed, which I don't do that regularly, but sometimes I go to bed at like half seven, so I like to sit in bed for hours. Um, I do have this next to my bed because I do use it for inspiration, out for inspiration for the next day, or just getting some wording for a blog post or an Instagram post. But anyway, yeah, that's gonna go on there. Obviously it's black, it fits color scheme perfectly. Um, I will link my book in the description box down below. It will be a signed copy if you order it from my website, just so you know. Right, I'm going to centre that. Next, I'm going to add something for the senses. So, um, scented candles, room spray, uh, any candles, just to add a bit of ambience uh, to the uh, to the setup. And yeah, I just love love scented candles. So, I have this little one, which actually oh, it's nearly finished. This is an Urban Apothecary Oriental Noir. This is beautiful. I'll link this down below. It's a really nice kind of fragrance for this time of year. 
that's uh, again it just pulls in the color scheme then I've got I'm actually going to spray this because I effing love this fragrance actually oh my god I don't know what it is I don't know if it's the orange or that kind of clove that makes it smell it's the winter room spray from uh, the white company but this makes me feel it's, I find that quite calming I think it might be the orange I think orange is meant to be really good for kind of elevating your mood um, but I, I just love this I've had this since last year we are down to the last quarter it's a beautiful beautiful fragrance especially around Christmas because it just smells like mulled wine so yeah I'm gonna have that in here because like I said it kind of lifts my, my mood if I'm gonna be spending all evening in here it's nice to have a have the room smelling like in a way that makes me feel happy and also let me just show you this because it's so gorgeous this is from Belle Nou. I think I've shared have I shared this brand I think I have I think I've mentioned it before in a video again this is by Holly she's local to me she's from Shropshire um I think these have just been stocked on Rocket St George she has an Etsy shop which I will link down below um, I've also got a black one which I've started to melt and they look so sexy when they melt, it's amazing. Yeah, I'm going to pop that on here just because it really, really goes with the theme. I mean, how can I not have this gorgeous, curvaceous female form with these lovely ladies? So that's going on there. The fifth one, I would add something personal, something that brings you joy or something that has um, like a really happy memory. So for me, I'm going for... A photo from our wedding day, which you don't need to see close up. <laughs> with my husband popping my ring on, and I just think he looks so friggin' handsome in this picture. And I just never thought that moment would happen. So, yes, I love that picture. So, yeah, something that brings you joy. And then I like to add a bit of jewellery, or maybe a perfume bottle, but um, I have these pieces from Ana Luisa which you will have seen on my last, was it my last vlog? I'll link it down below and you can see these in more detail. But I just think adding these, it's obviously my side of the bed. These are my little treasures, if you like. Um, and yeah, they just, they think they just look really pretty. Also, when, I'm in, when I get into bed, I tend to take off my jewelry and pop it on the side. So that is the perfect place for those, and I think. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll show you that up close. So there we have it. So this is my bedside vignette featuring two of, I'll just zoom out, two of my beautiful ladies, skin four and skin one. Like I said, I will link everything down below. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Would you change anything around? What I need to do now is do some on the other side of the bed for the husband, but uh, that means having to organise his side. But yeah, the, this is the candle. It's beautiful. Those are the books. More candles, more fragrance, artwork, and this really spectacular pampas. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed that like I said it's um, all on my blog as well so I will link oh I can't see myself there we go uh, so I will link the blog post down below um, I think actually maybe I'm just gonna cut this video here because that's plenty for now isn't it um, I haven't really got much going on this week other than kind of house stuff working from home I've just been on the back end of my website making sure that's all up to date i've got a, a newsletter ready to go out later on this week what else i'm gonna write a blog post i have some deliveries coming this week so i'm really really want to do um a styling video which i think i'm trying to think who suggested it or if i just had a couple of kind of uh suggestions on maybe adding in some non-black pieces i mean at first I was like, you're crazy, but I'm going to challenge myself to break up the black and you can wait for that video. <laughs> but that hopefully can get filmed this week if 
if deliveries are on time at the moment everything's already delayed um so we will see but yeah stay tuned for that if you haven't already please subscribe and turn on the notifications and then you will know when that video goes live um follow me on instagram it's sally underscore Faye. and yeah check out the website check out the print shop let me know your thoughts on it have you ordered anything yet i have sent out all print orders it's been very exciting i absolutely love just packaging them up and sending them out it's just such a lovely sorry i've got fluff on my nose from that pampas grass um it's just such a lovely feeling um it's like when i was sending the books out i just love it so yeah thank you so much for your support i really really appreciate it it does mean the, mean the world to me and just to know you've got one of my illustrations in your home is crazy so yeah thank you so so much um i think that's everything i have to tell you and that's the end of the video so have a lovely rest of the week have a lovely weekend whenever you're watching this and i will see you very soon or let me know what you think of the video quality i haven't watched this back yet i've no idea if it's any better but i bloody hope it is because this camera was expensive <laughs> so fingers crossed it's a good visual and more enjoyable sound and experience for you but yeah thanks for watching guys and i will see you very soon Thank you.